Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to use KSW Overlay to create your own theme for your tablet. So first and foremost, you're going to have to install these two things, JDK and JRE. So it's pretty simple, just go down and pick your operating system and then just install. And then you're going to have to install the normal Java as well. So this is pretty simple as well. So after that, you're going to have to clone or download for both of these repositories and then click download zip. So when that is complete, you're going to have these two zip files in which you'll get the extract ones right here. Okay, so after you have both of them extracted, you're going to have to open up the KSW overlay master folder. And then you're going to have to open the nested folder as well. And then as you can see here, there's a lot of files that it's seeming like it's a bit complicated, right? So what you're going to have to do is don't worry. You're just going to have to look at the resources folder for now. And that is where you'll start theming. Okay. So to start theming, you're going to have to know what you're theming. So first for resources folder inside, you're going to see two folders, res and res PX six. So if you're on a PX six device, you're going to have to start touching the resources down here. If not, just use a normal res folder. And as you can see here, there are existing uh, folders with files inside them as a demonstration. But since we're doing this video, let's just start from fresh. So we can just delete them. And then we'll have to look at the extracted KSWP launcher uh, source. And let's change the GLA icon for MBUX into something like my car. So let's go into resources, res, and then we're going to have three folders we're going to be looking at. Drawable HDPI v4, Drawable MDPI v4, and Drawable SW600DP MDPI v13. So let's start with MDPI since this is the most common resolution. As you can see here, there's a ton of images reflecting what you see on your dashboard. It might be a BMW, a Mercedes, or an Audi. And within each of those manufacturers, you have like different modes, for example, ID6, ID7, uh, GS mode, and MBUX and NTG6. So let's take a look at MBUX. So we scroll down and we can see here that we can find the GLA as well as the normal GLA without a highlight, as well as the background image. Okay. So we want to change these three files as well as the easy con. So easy con, usually people want to change this to the CarPlay icon. So let's copy these files um, into the same folder structure as the one found in the decompile launcher. So we right click, create a new folder, drawable MDPI v4. And then we go inside and we'll, we'll copy all these folders, sorry, these files. So that's around five files. And then we paste them here. So now that we have these files, we're going to have to edit them so that it'll fit our usage case. All right. So I just added all five of the images that I've edited. As you can see here, the difference between the background is uh, pretty clear. This one is more uh, desaturated, whereas uh, this one is much more blue and I've added my own car and CarPlay icon. So this is how you will change your car icon and the phone link icon on the MBUX screen. For these images, I would highly recommend using Photoshop to edit because if you use something like paint, you would lose the transparency and it may change the dimensions and the DPI pixel count. So with Photoshop or GIMP, you can retain the existing uh, specifications of the file so that it would look exactly the same as it would be on your device. All right, so let's take a look at the other two folders that I've mentioned earlier, HDPI and SW600. So let's take a look at SW600 and see if there's any MBUX resources. And it seems like there isn't. So let's just take a look at HDPI. Okay, so you can see here the HDPI resources has MBUX. So let's create a new folder, drawable HDPI v4. 
and then let's copy the files that we wanted to change. So the background, the car, and the uh, Easy Connect icons. And then let's edit them out so that we have our own images. All right, so that's about it for all the images to change. For the next section, we'll check out the string changes and also changing phone link into CarPlay. Okay, so let's go back into the root of the res folder and uh, let's also do the same for the decompiled launcher file and then we can see here that there are a ton of values folders now what we're going to do is change it on the English language but for example if you want to change a translation done in German you're going to have to copy this folder over to our overlay folder and uh, remove everything else you don't need. I'll, I'll elaborate more on that later. So taking a look at values folder, let's also create one here, the values. The main part we wanna change is arrays.xml because that's where CarPlay uh, phone link would be. So let's copy over the arrays.xml folder into our values folder and let's open it up with our text editor. So as you can see here, there's a lot of menu options. Uh, you can determine what you have based on uh, you know what you see here, right? So if you see that navigation is first, and then after that follow is followed by music, then you have NTG5. If you have video afterwards, then it's probably NTG6. Um, and if DVR, you know, is followed by um, settings then it's going to be NTG6 as well so I only care about MBUX right now so let's delete everything else and um, save the file now let's take a look we have navigation music telephone NTG menu settings video apps phone link dashboard and DVR so I would like to change music into media telephone into phone NTG menu into car Settings, keep it as is. Video into movies. Apps into Android apps. Phone link into CarPlay. Dashboard will keep as is, and DVR will keep as dash cam. So after we made all those changes for MBUX, let's just save the file, and basically we can close out. If you would like to change other strings, for example, translations or the um, the poor existing translations done by the Chinese developers, all you're gonna do is copy over the strings file into our own strings file. And then we're going to have to find the problematic string. For example, uh, I want to change that long press string because it looks a bit weird with these capitalized navvies. So let's delete every other string that doesn't have any value to us. And then after that's done, let's save the file and uh, let's start editing. So short press does nothing, long press opens Navi. So let's just decapitalize long press and um, change Navi into navigation because it seems more professional. Navigation, navigation, and decapitalize long. Okay, cool. Now we can just save the file and close the file. And there we have it. We have, you know, converted all these uh, broken texts into proper text that we care about. And uh, this is part of the overlay. Now we have our car, our background changed, the phone link icon changed into a CarPlay, and we've done it for multiple resolutions. So if there are any other things you need to change, just follow the same file structure in this resources folder and just copy it over, um, including any of these folders. However, do not touch any of these layout folders if you don't know what you're doing, because that may cause more crashes than you'd like. All right, so once we're done, let's go back to the proper KSW Overlay Master root folder. And that means it's the first folder that houses everything. What we need to look at is the compile hyphen files. So as you can see here, there are six items that say compile. And 
depending on your device, you're going to have to choose what's most suitable for you. So I have a Windows computer, but for Mac, all you have to do is just double tap the com compile Mac command. And uh, for Linux, you're going to have to execute compile linux.sh in a terminal window. So for Windows, I'm just going to double click compile Windows. And as you can see here, uh, it's going to ask you to install Java if you haven't already. Um, Please note the KSW overlay.apk, the modified date right now is 1.56 a.m. Let's press enter and then it'll start compiling and signing that new overlay APK based on your changes. Now, as you can see here, it's just changed to the proper time and that means this is ready to be pushed to your device. All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. If you want to know how to install the APK, just read the forum thread or I'll be posting another video soon to show how to install it. This is because the install method changes from time to time, so at this current point, this video is only for theming purposes only. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, just hit us up on our Discord channel because I will be turning off YouTube comments on this video. Uh, there's a lot of people that can help you out with theming as well as just tablet-related questions. All right, take care guys.